to our new series. Did you know that town people don't really have family names? Well, I mean, obviously we all have surnames, but not in the typical Western sense. I'm gonna try and explain to you guys how the Tamil name system works for Tamil families. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Tamil people do have surnames, but surnames were not always a thing. Back in the days, people didn't have surnames. People just had names like Harry, Ronald, Hermione. As the population grew, more people had the same name. You had to find a way to identify someone specific. So our Harry, he was called Harry from London. So people would just call him Harry London. Or maybe Harry was a baker. So then he was called Harry Baker. Some people would know which Harry we are talking about. Long story short, ta-da! Everyone has a surname. If you want to find out more about the history of the evolution of surnames, check out the link in the description below. Let's go back to Tamil names. The name system for Tamil people is a little bit different. Let's see how. Let's use me as an example. My name is Sapta. My surname is Udayan. Of course, Tamil people don't have short surnames like that. Everyone knows that. But for example purpose, I've shortened all the last names I'm going to use today in this video. My name is Sapta. My last name is Udayan. Typically, Udayan would be my dad's last name or his family name, but it's not. If you're Tamil, your last name is most likely your dad's first name. Udayan is my dad's first name. So what's my dad's last name? My dad's first name is Udayan. His last name is Alagu. Alagu is his last name but it is also my paternal grandfather's first name. Do you see where I'm going with this? Now we've got my mum. My mum's name is Niveda. That's her first name. Her last name is Udayan. When my mum was born, her name was Niveda and then her last name was Naga. Naga was my mum's last name, which also was her father's first name. So my maternal grandfather's first name. Niveda Naga meets Udayan Aragu. They get married. And then what happens? Udayan Aragu changes his name. How does he do that? He switches his first name with his last name. So Udayan Aragu becomes Aragu Udayan. Why? Let me explain. Both my parents, they got married in Germany. So as this Western custom, the woman takes the man's last name. So in order for my mum to get my dad's first name as her last name, my dad had to then switch his first name and last name around. My dad legally changed his name from Udayan Alagu to Alagu Udayan. So Udayan becomes the last name or family name. He then marries Niveda Naga. Niveda Naga becomes Niveda Udayan. And then they had me. My parents name me Sapta and I automatically get my dad's last name as my name which then becomes Udayan. So I'm named Sapta Udayan. If they had lived back home in India or Sri Lanka there was no need to change their names around. So my dad's name would have continued to be Udayan Aragu. My mum's name after she got married to my dad would have been Niveda Udayan. And then my name would have been Sapta Udayan. So Tamil people don't have the tradition of family names. Women, when they get married to men, take up the man's first name. Children take up the dad's first name as their last name. But because of the war, they had to flee a country and they got married in Germany and they had to adapt to Western culture. So imagine you're an immigrant moving to a new country, you barely speak the language and then you're trying to explain to them how your culture works, how the naming system works. So it's just so much easier for men to change their names around, switch the names around so that they can continue the Tamil tradition of giving their first name to their wife and children as the last name. To all the Western people, we are just taking our dad's last name or our husband's last name as our last name. But in fact, we are taking our father's or husband's first name as our last name. Anyways, it is pretty amazing how all these diaspora Tamil people who moved to the West came up with this name switching thing so that the kids and their wives um, could have the husband or father's first name as their last name. That way they get to continue their Tamil tradition which is amazing. That's it guys, Tamil naming tradition. If you're planning on getting married, are you going to change your name? How are you going to do that? Do we need a new naming system? How is it all going to work? Share your opinion and ideas with us. We would love to hear from you. If you haven't watched the Tamil version, I do try and speak a little bit slower so that you guys can follow. Watch our video in Tamil. I will see you guys next time. Bye!